Hi everyone, this is Dominic Daughtry, and I'm making this video because I've had numerous people come to me and ask me how they could use Bluebeam Review to uh, perform their photo documentation and add photos and things like that to their DRDs. And Bluebeam Review version 12 that just came out has a great function that was just released and it's called Capture. And it is perfect for photo documentation uh, and including those in your DRDs or you can just make your own set of photo documentation uh, plans throughout the project. So it's extremely easy to use, really efficient. Uh, so I'm going to get right into it and show you how to do it. So as you can see right now, I've got my Cal State Channel Islands uh, West Hall Project DRDs open. Uh, I have them opened to the slab plan level one and currently we're in the beginning of the project and we've got a lot of uh, under slab CMU walls and things like that. Uh, we've uncovered a bunch of uh, different conditions uh, including uh, underground electrical duct banks that nobody knew about. So I want to document that and we've got a great deal of photos uh, that I want to include in our DRDs. So what I've done is if you go to your tool set, I'd, I've done a, a short uh, video on the CI, the SuntWeb CI quick share site on how to add markups to the my tools uh, portion of Bluebeam. And all I did was I googled uh, camera icon on Google Images and downloaded an image that looks like a camera and I added it to my, my tools. So I can either click on it here or just press 9 and then all I do is put that markup icon right there. And I'm going to illustrate uh, some of the things that we want to document on this northwestern corner of the project. So. As soon as you put down your markup, and just so everybody knows, it doesn't have to be a photo uh, icon of a camera. It can be anything. It can be a text box. It can be a call out. You can add photos to anything in Bluebeam. So all I do is right click on it. <clears throat> I will go down to capture, and I will do from file. And I will go and input the photos that we taken of that northwestern corner. So I want to add right here, I've got some photos of the existing duct banks that we uncovered. I've got some more measurements of foundations right here that I want to include. Uh, I'll even put in some of this rebar uh, uh, photography showing that we did it per plans and specs and then press open. And what it's doing right now is it's adding them onto this, uh, this uh, markup. You see what it did right there. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it fully. It now has this little photo icon. And if I click on that, it now has a, uh, a photo slideshow of, that I can go through of all the photos I added. So you can see right here, we've got the electrical duct banks that we uncovered. Uh, same thing. You can see them fully uncovered and, and surveyed. Right there, you can see the measurements that we took off on the foundations and the rebar. And you can see, you know, uh, you can take documentation before you place concrete, things like that, showing rebar. It's just an amazing tool that you can use, and you can use it throughout your project. You can do it before your in-wall inspections and take pictures and show, you know, you know, put a uh, camera icon within a single room, take your photos, add it to there, and it is great you know to mitigate risk liabilities things like that it's a it's a pretty powerful tool i hope everybody enjoyed the 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 video and i hope everybody is able to use the capture function on their next project thank you and have a great day